What is going on, everybody? It is me, your boy Projora, back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And in today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, we are going to be doing the last stage of freaking the Red Zone for the Wicked Bloodline Edition, dude. <laughs> you know how the last um, Red Zone stage for uh, you know it was uh, fighting fighting against Kura, it, dude. And you know how much I was struggling with that freaking event? Dude, I'm pissed that this somehow was a little more easier than the last stage. I I'm like, well, one, it probably has to do to the factor that, um, uh, what's my call? Oh, dude. Nullification for the, I thought I was going to take a lot of damage. Dude, wow. Dude, nullification for the freaking win. But, um, yeah, last one. Dude, that, that, was, that one was just super annoying. And I'm super, dude, look, we're taking double digits against a free to play unit, even though we obviously we reduced this guy's damage. But, dude, that's still. That's still good, dude. That's still really good in my freaking eyes. That a free to play unit is able to take double di uh, double digits. How much are we taking here for this? Oh, we're still probably going to be taking, yeah, double digits. But, dude. Um, the one thing that makes this fight easier, and obviously not only because we're using um, Whis items, but, dude, we, we even used um, items. For uh, the last red zone stage, which is obviously uh, the Metal Kura, dude. And, dude, it, I don't know, dude. It just... I think definitely here we might take a bit more damage since uh, this Kura didn't, like, uh, super... Yeah, we're taking 300k. It, it, it was a lot, but thankfully here we're going to be able to, uh, to lower this guy's, um, you know, his, um, his attack still. And then, you know, that shouldn't do too much damage to us. And then, plus, we don't have to worry about, um, obviously, uh, destroying this guy since... If, if, if you're you can't tell already by the look of his HP, dude, it's not going down. So uh, it doesn't really matter. If we're able to I highly doubt we're able to kill him. I wonder what how much HP this dude has. I think I was watching like a, a video of like how much uh, HP it, or the stats of all these all uh, red zone stages for the Wicked Bloodline edition. I, I don't recall how much HP. I think it's is it one billion? I don't think it's one billion, right? But anyways, I know it's a lot, dude, and yeah, there's definitely no way uh, we're going to be able to kill him. So, um, Kuro can do as many supers as he wants here. He's not going to be able to tickle him uh, or take down one of his, H um, his HP bars. But uh, definitely want him to get as many attacks as he can because we definitely want to build him up for the next phase, which is uh, a physical phase. So it kind of goes on our favor here. So I definitely wanted to, you know, just keep keep building up his attack and whatnot. And then once we get to the last part of the stage, we should be uh, more uh, built up more than enough. And then here, gladly, I'll take more uh, super attacks, even though, you know, it's going to be not going to be anything crazy to him. But, you know, we we will be fine. Uh, we're lowering his attack. And then here, I think, yeah, we activate the Metamorphosis link uh, uh, with, uh, I, is it with um the the Kura and the freaking um, free-to-play Kura that's um, reactivating the Metamorphosis link? But yeah, anyways, even though, uh, you know, we're not going to be healing too much. But uh, thankfully for this Kuro's, uh his passive skill, I think it's when he receives an attack, he um, heals for 10% HP. Uh, just let me take a, a quick glance right now, and since I'm kind of in the game. So let me do a little cheating here. And then, oh, he recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. Oh, if HP is 50% or less. Oh, no, and if HP is 50% or less, recovers an additional 10%. I did not know that. Wow. The more you know, man. Yo, I I, I want to pull these cards and whatnot, and then there's something. I don't even know what the hell these guys do. Oh, well, I just realized, too, even when this guy does super attacks, he's lowering his attack even more. So, we're practically invincible, at, I think, at this point. <laughs> now nah, he wants to launch multiple super attacks, dude, even though I needed this. And the last stage, during the last part of the freaking, you know, the phase, which is uh, Metal Korra. But, nope, he definitely did not want to do it. But, I mean... It weren't crits, so I guess I'm not too mad at it. But yeah, anyways, um, definitely had to rotate uh, the free to play core out of here, even though he could, um, he's stacking defense right now. But I definitely wanted to. Oh my god, dude! I think there's like traffic out outside of my house, so uh, you might guys might hear uh, beepings here and there. But yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, now we're in the last part of the freaking uh, phase of this fight, which is just to defeat uh, this uh, metal uh, core uh, Kura. Which thankfully we didn't have to use any items for you know the the first part of it since we we're just luring that guy's attack over and over and over again. But I think here I definitely wanted to use an, uh, a weak item because I have no idea if this guy's gonna super. And if he does super, I have a scary feeling that he's gonna super uh, this guy at the end, the the Janemba. And then plus uh, that Janemba is not one, he's not fully built up. Two, um, he's not guarding. So yeah, that's that's definitely not gonna be a good spot for Janemba to be able to uh, guard this guy's um you know. 
is a super attack if we were to get super. And I think even if we were to get, we will probably be the at the brink of death, dude. Dude, what the hell? That first super attack, I felt like it didn't do anything, but I I think did it take down his first health bar? Dude, look at Kura just going at it, dude. dude we already took three of his health bar, and that's all thanks to the freaking the friend of uh, no Kura, dude. Wow. Yeah. At this point, when I saw this, I'm like, dude, this has to be just. I was annoyed. I'm like, dude, are you serious? This, this really, this, oh my god, dude. This, this is a, a little more easier fight than freaking the last one, which is obviously the medical. I, I'm gonna keep saying, it. yeah. You see, we're taking 50k, dude. If we didn't activate the weeds, we're probably, yeah, we would have been taking like 100k. And oh, and we have the active skill. I think. No, I keep him in rotation. Huh. I probably should have used the Acta skill for that Metal Kura at the first slot. Oh, actually, no. You know why? Because we have the, the revive. So that's why I guess I kept him. I think he will be taking a bit of damage, though. Yeah, look at that. Dude. <sighs> wow. Freaking wow. I'm like, well, there goes my freaking, uh, my Wii side. Dude. Wow. That's with a Wii's active, too, dude. Holy hell, wow. I was <laughs> I was not expecting to take that much freaking damage, dude. Holy hell. Oh! Oh! Okay, so definitely here. Oh, wait, I didn't have the... Bruh, I thought... <laughs> I thought I had those turned on, the freaking, um, to... To see these guys' active skills and whatnot, but... I guess that doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so here... I think my game plan was obviously we got a super with this guy. Um, <laughs> my only fear is obviously if he gets supered, I think we're most likely dead here, dude. I, I because this guy did not super enough to like to be able to handle as much damage as like, dude. The other guy was an LR, dude. I mean, sure he probably wasn't stacking defense and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure he had like a little more defense than the the free to play uh Korra. But thankfully, obviously the reason why we're recording this is we beat the stage, so I don't think he supered us at all. Let's see. No, oh, I forgot. Oh my god, because of the active skill. That's why I was more comfortable with him putting him in the front because of the fact that we uh, nullified one of his actions, dude. Cool, please do multiple super attacks. Please. Wow. You have a last shot. Oh my god, dude. Dude, what's the. Hold up. I gotta check the details on this, dude. I mean, sure, it probably would have been a little more busted if this guy got like a high chance to launch um, an additional super attack. Yeah, it's a, each of, um, launches two additional attacks each, which uh, has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Beat. <sighs> that sucks. That really sucks. But you know what? It's still like it, it's still a medium chance to launch an, a, a super attack, right? Okay. So here, um, for sure. Oh, he. Oh wait, no. Did I? So I know I definitely activated uh, Metal Kura's. Um. Oh no, I activated this guy's active skill first, huh? I activated Janemba's thing first. Oh, and I think here we actually did quite the amount of damage too on him. Like, I was kind of surprised. Um, we. Well, obviously, we, this guy's only at 55%, so he doesn't have any crits. Oh, and we're getting super attack in the first lot. Wow. I, I think I read the. I, I think I made the right decision to use the uh, the active skill, dude, because I have no idea how much my uh, my core would have taken. Plus, like, he's not rainbow or anything like that, so yeah, that, that, that would have not been. You did a crit there? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Janemba, you don't have any crits on you, buddy. Is that just because of your, um, let me see, hold up. So yeah, when this guy's here, he recovers an additional key plus one per, oh, so yeah, yeah. his super attack, when it's his ultra super attack, his ultra super attack in this, um, the active skill, uh, causes destructive damage to enemy with a temporary high chance of performing a critical hit. Interesting. And then his 12 key one is, um, the same thing, essentially. So, okay, so that's why he did a crit there. So here I activate uh Metal Kuro's active skill. So I think here this was just a guarantee win to be honest. Because even though if I don't launch like multiple super attacks, uh th this Kuro is gonna be able to, you know, be Oh no, we still have the Wii's. Oh, so that's why I was comfortable of Oh that's why I was comfortable of using this guy's um dude, we're still taking 27k. Wow. Yeah, so that's why I was comfortable of using this guy's freaking active skill. I thought I thought I had a I thought I activated a Wii before. 
Dude, I'm getting old, man. Like, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This 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 fight also happened about like two weeks ago or something like that when I recorded this. But yeah, we didn't kill him. And then I'm like, dude, please, for the love of Christ, uh, Metal Gear, you need to clap him here. If you do not, and you get super, I'm gonna be super upset. And, and thankfully too, you know what's great? This is my first attempt at doing this fight. And look at that, dude. Nice KO screen that we got there. We're able to clear this in our first try. I'm surprised I was still able to clear this in my first try, but yeah. Um, hopefully you guys uh, were able to handle this guy off or, or everybody at least in the red zone stage for with the Wicked Bloodline because, you know, uh, we all want to get that support memory. The I think it's for the Wicked Blood. Oh no, I think it's Terrifying Conquerors, if I'm correct. If I could just take my hand on it real quick. I pressed the wrong one, of course. Oh no, it's Wicked Bloodline category allies attack and defense plus 10% in battle. And for 7 turns from the start of battle, key plus 1 for, all, for allies whose name include uh, Kura. But, yeah, anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, guys.